All right, Shalom, Yashala, peace, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Makar, Kadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Most Stone, who rule well and has taught us his truth, and also peace and salutation to the whole for the elect. I hate labor and the truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth, understand it in the banner of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Makar, Kadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. Bahashim is in the name. Yahweh shall be the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right. Uh, the Lord and Savior of the children of Israel Alright Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ But once again truly his name is Yahweh Shai Alright Bahashim is in the name Raka Kodash Raka means spirit Kodash means holy In the name of the Holy Spirit And that was said in the Lashon Kodash Which is the Paleo Hebrew And that word Paleo goes back to the ancient So it's the ancient Hebrew The language of our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Alright And um This is brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp And just want to go into a quick lesson And Lord's will that this lesson is edifying and um, as you see on the screen, I have 2 Peter 3, which I'm going to jump uh, to the 10th verse. All right. But this lesson is going to be solely around. Uh, uh, it's going to be about instruct instruction. All right. Because we have received instruction from the Heavenly Father by way of uh, 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 Yahweh Bahashim al Shah, by way of what? The scriptures, which is uh, which is his words. All right. He gave us this instruction guide. All right. And how to operate, how to deal with situations, how, how to conduct ourselves and also how to deal with the earth. And deal with uh, 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 how, how to walk in the way of the spirit. Walk in the way which is uh, uh, pleasing unto him. All right. And then there's also penalties for also stepping outside of the instructions. All right. Because if you follow in the instructions, if you follow the instructions, that means you are being obedient. But if you don't follow the instructions, that makes you what? Rebellious. And the most high is against that. The scripture also says rebellion is the sin as, witch, uh, sin, uh, 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 as witchcraft. Let me get that real quick. Let me see. All right. This is First Peter's 15 and 23. It says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness as, is as the iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim al Shah, he hath also rejected thee from being king. All right. So, A, hey, point proven. All right. So, ultimately, what is that being? Being rebellious is what? You dis, uh, 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 disconnecting yourself from Yahweh, Bahashim al Shah, and his instructions. On his in his words, all right. So now going back to Second Peter's, because I want to bring this out really real quick because it talks about the holy conversation. And when you go into that word uh, conversation, all right, it's just not only meaning the words that you speak, but it also represents the conduct, how you conduct, how you conduct yourself. All right. So this is uh Second Peter's three and ten. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, due to the fact that uh you know uh, low battery. But this is uh Second Peter's three and ten. It says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night." In the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So ultimately, that's the judgment that Yahweh Bashim al is going to send upon the earth. And that's why it says it's going to, the day is going to come as a thief in the night. So no one's going to know the time, the day, nor hour, nor the seasons. All right. Only one that knows that is who? The Heavenly Father Yahweh. Even our Lord Yahweh Shah stated he doesn't even know. All right. So he's sitting at the right hand of the Heavenly Father waiting. All right. But the, the Most High Yahweh, he knows the time. All right, but we don't, so that's why it's going to come as a thief in the night. And what a thief going to do? They're going to come off guard, come when you least expect it. All right, it says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation? The holy means separate, set apart. All right, it says, Holy conversation and godliness. Now, let's look up that word conversation. All right, Salakia, bear with me. It says, uh, conversation. Strong's G391. Anastrafe. Anastrafe. All right, and it says, anastrafe, which means uh, manner of life, conduct, behavior, or deportment. All right? So, hey, look at that. It says, manner of life, conduct, the way that you walk, or how you, how you carry yourself. All right, so you have to be in holy conversation, which is your uh, holy conduct. All right, and ultimately you're gonna receive that and knowing that by way of what? By instructions, man. Receiving the instructions. So let's go to Proverbs, the first chapter. All right. It says, uh, the Proverbs, Proverbs one and one. It says, the proverb of Solomon, the son of the of of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of under, to perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instructions of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. 
to give subtility to the simple and to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. All right. So ultimately, this is all coming by what this is. This is the king. This is uh, King Solomon speaking. All right. This is King Solomon being known as the wisest king. All right. So, a hey, because what he prayed unto the most high to say, what? Give me uh, understanding to judge such a great people. And the most high gave him that, that which he asked for plus more. All right. Which he was known as uh, the wisest king. All right. Through the, which, which, uh, through the spirit, uh, Solomon is Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, um, but what he said to know wisdom and instruction. All right, and that and that's ultimately what, and to receive the words of understanding. This is this is uh, what the scriptures is about, right? And it says, um, going back to verse six, it says to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. All right, and a look at that, man. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and ultimately, what is that uh, pushing? All right. That's giving you an idea. That's giving you a starting point. That's giving you something, a foundation to start building upon. All right. Which is ultimately what? The fear of the Lord. All right. And if you take heed to it, if you fear your how about Shemel Shai, there's a certain way uh, uh, that you're going to carry yourself. All right. Which is which is wise. All right. That's why it talks about. Uh, 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 well, let me grab it real quick. Ecclesiastes. 12. In 13, it says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right. Hey, look at that. All right. Fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and keep his commandments. All right. That's the instruction. And when you look up that word instruction, which I got right here, it says instruction. It says a direction or order. And let's look up some of the similar words. It says order, command, uh, directive, direction, decree. All right. Uh, Let's go, let's jump down. It says injunction, mandate, uh, commandment, all right? All right, so instruction is a commandment. It's a demand, all right? It's a, uh, what else, what else? All right, ruling, requirement, all right? Let's look up that word requirement. It says a thing that is needed or wanted, all right? Let's look up a commandment. A divine rule, especially one of the Ten Commandments, which we know there's more than ten, but hey, man, you get the gist of it. It's the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And let's look up uh, the second definition. It says, detailed information telling how something should be done, operate, or assembled. All right, it says direction, key, guide. And is not the scripture a guide unto us? Is not the scripture a guide unto how we ought to walk in this lifetime? All right, and follow the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai. That way we may enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right. It says a uh, recipe, specification, a handbook, manual, booklet. I'm jump down. It says Bible. All right. It says the Christian, which we know uh, Christians are talking about. This is a book for the Israelites. All right. The Israelite, uh, the Christian scriptures consistent of Old and New Testament. So, but why, but why would it be linked under instruction? Because there's that saying that says uh, uh, the acronym uh, Bible, which means basic instruction before leaving earth. All right. And that's, and that's true, man. This is the instructions that you need. This is what's ultimately going to govern the earth. This is what's going to bring peace onto the earth. All right? Following the instruction. Now let's go to the second um the next precept I got. Uh what is it? Uh, Proverbs 4 Salakia. Bear with me, Salakia about that. 4 and 13. And it reads, "Take fast hold of instructions." Let her, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. All right, and that she is representing what wisdom and, and wisdom and instruction falls under the same umbrella. All right, let's look up the word wisdom real quick. Wisdom. It says quality or having experience, knowledge, and a good judgment. The quality of being wise. All right, uh, intelligence, understanding, insight, perception, sense, common sense. Uh, judgment, foresight, all right, uh, prudence, circumspection, logic, uh, rational, uh, uh, soundness, all right, smarts, all right, and these, and it says, uh, continuing, it says, the soundness of an action or decision with regards to to the uh, application of experience, knowledge, and good judgment, the body of knowledge and principle principles that develop within a spec uh, specified society or period. It says knowledge, learning, uh, scholarship, 
all right? Philosophy, all right? And, and ultimately, it's the doctrine, the true doctrine of Yahweh Ba'ashim al all right? And that's what that's what this 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 uh the scripture is providing us, man. Take ho take fast hold of instruction. Let's look up the blue letter of instruction. Discipline, chastising, chastening, uh, correction, discipline, correction, chastening. All right, and that's not what we're going through. We're, we're being chastised. We're going through these experiences so that we may learn from it and apply what we need to know by way of the scripture. Such as, for instance, uh, for an example, as this word, uh, uh, patience. The scripture says, "Be patient without change to the Lord's state." So the Lord's gonna put us through things that we may develop these uh, uh, attributes, these spiritual attributes. All right, which consist of being patient. All right, being patient and waiting because ultimately that's what the Lord consists of. He said He's long suffering. All right, but you got to know these things by way of what? By the, by way of reading, by taking heed to the, the instructions that's in the book. All right, let's go to the next precept. All right, Proverbs six and twenty three. Six and twenty three. It says, "All right, for the commandment is the is a lamp." Salakia. Proverbs six and twenty three. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. And reproof of instruction are the way of life. All right. Hey, look at that. Let's look at uh, the word repro reproofs. And it says rebuke, correction, reproof, punishment, chastisement. Is it not falling in the same thing as uh, 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 instruction? All right. According to the blue letter, argument, reproof. It says uh, correction, rebuke. All right. These things are all ultimately to what better us. All right, because what we we all fell short of the uh, uh, the glory, right? We all went off. We all sinned against Yahweh Bashim El Shah. But what is it? Taking heed to the instruction by way of the scripture that we may turn back to Yahweh Bashim El Shah, so that the things that we do may please Him. That way we we, we grow and we build up and we become uh, better men and women in uh, in this truth, man. Men and women in this truth. All right, to 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 walk in the path of righteousness, to 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 to, to try to be perfect as our heavenly Father in heaven. All right. So once again, uh, it says, "For the commandments is a lamp, and the law is the, is light, and reproof of instructions are the way of life." All right, because ultimately, by way of what, by way of uh, th these words, is how we are to 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 um to you know choose life. All right, but and, and ultimately, uh, choosing life is you choosing Yahweh Shah. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Let's go to the next precept, Proverbs nine and nine. Proverbs 9 and 9, it says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will in increase in learning. All right? So give instruction to a wise man, and he will, he will yet be wiser. All right? The that man's going to take heed to what's being said, and he's gonna, and he's gonna, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to add on to his spiritual growth, man. It's going to add on to his life. All right? With that experience, with the knowledge, with the understanding, with the wisdom, that's all going to add on. That's why I say he's going to yet be wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. And in order to increase in learning, you have to receive what is being spoken. Uh, 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 you have to receive it because you have people that has ears, as the scripture says, uh, they have ears, but they hear not. All right. Hey, man. But the scripture also say he that have an ear, let him hear, which is what to, to understand. The first thing in the, uh, to, to, to learn it is what? To receive what is being uh, spoken or receive what is being mentioned. All right. Which is ultimately what? The proper instruction, which is this true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim El Shah. All right. Um, verse 10, it says, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shah, is the beginning of wisdom. Once again, there you go. And the knowledge of the ho and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. All right. That's plain and simple. All right. Uh, and I'm gonna just end it off on this. Second Timothy, three, three, and uh, fourteen going down. It says, "But continue thou in in the things which thou hast learned, which was what this truth. All right, the words, uh, the the the, the true doctrine Yahweh Bashim El Shad that is put uh presented to you by way of Great Millstone. All right, and uh, ultimately starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, and, and, and on down." All right, and the like-minded brothers that are out there teaching the same doctrine, the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim El Shah, that says, "But continue thou in the things which thou has learned and and has been assured of, and to be assured of something which is mean to be sure." All right, to, uh, let's let's look at let's look up the word. And it's just looking up, you know, it's a great thing to to look into these words. It says to make faithful, render trustworthy. 
to make firm, established, to be firmly persuaded of. Let the script in the scripture also said, let a mean be fully persuaded in his own mind, right? All right, and this is to be assured of. So, hey, if you you gotta be for certain about this, you gotta you gotta uh, find this to be faithful and true, like the Lord, like the like the scripture says in Second Ezra the fifteen chapter, the words of the Lord is faithful and true. All right, and it says. And uh, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. All right, and who you learn them from? The, the the proper teachers. All right. How how else is the, uh, 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 am I supposed to know this? What the scriptures say? Roughly paraphrasing. I think it was Philip. Uh, uh, Philip uh, asked the, uh, the Ethiopian a eunuch. He said, uh, "Do you understand what thou reading?" He said, "How how else am I supposed to know unless some man guide me?" All right. So there's a teacher, a proper teacher. That's going to speak the true words and give the proper instruction and the proper doctrine for you to know how to conduct yourself and understand what's going on so that you may walk in that likeness. All right. All right. It says um, verse 15. And that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh All scriptures is given by inspiration of the most high Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh and is prof profitable for doctrine. All right. For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All right. Amen. Look at it. I'm going to read it again. Say all scriptures, which means the whole book. All right. All scriptures from the Old Testament to the New Testament. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. How about Shemel Shah? And it's profitable for doctrine. All right. For reproof, which is correction. All right. Rebuke. For correction, once again, for instruction in righteousness. All right, verse 17 that the man of the most high, Yahweh Bashim Shah, may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. All right, so how else are you gonna be, be thoroughly furnished through uh, unto good works? Is by what? By receiving correction, instruction, uh, this true doctrine. All right, uh, this uh, it's like it says for instruction into in, in, in righteousness, man, because this is the way to live, man. This is the way that you're gonna walk and you're gonna become better, man. And, and ultimately, you're going to receive the kingdom of heaven if you continue to uh, uh, stay on this path, endure to the end the same. He's like the scripture says, "He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved." So until you hold fast to thou which thou hast, you know, Amen, and continue to receive the proper instruction and learn and grow and apply this to your life, which which consists of experience. Amen. You know, as the scripture says, "Be uh, uh, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness." All right, and this was this is gonna, this is an opportunity for us to escape the destruction that is going to come. All right, by taking wise, uh, taking taking heed to wise counsel and, and proper instruction. All right, so with that, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shabbat Hashem Kadosh. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well who has taught us the truth and also peace and salutation to the whole elect once again. With that, I want to say Shalom, Ababa Ba, Kwam Yashallah.